The VFR 750 was a legendary, super capable all-rounder, which has now become this here VFR 800, which is a faster, more comfortable, better equipped version of the original bike. My heart sank when I found out we were testing sports tourers for this week's show, because no sports tourers test is complete without one of these, Honda's Evergreen VFR. And sadly, very few sports tourers tests are also complete without said VFR naffing off into the sunset with the top honours. In eight years as a bike journalist, I have lost count of the number of sports tourers tests I've done. And I've also lost count of the number of times the VFR has been the winner. It's just so predictable. I've ummed, I've ahed, I've lain awake at night desperately trying to find reasons for something else, anything else, to wrest the VFR's crown from its iron grasp. But whatever I do, it never works out. First up, the VTEC in that motor. It may give you two valves per cylinder low down for better torque, and it may give you four valves per cylinder higher up for better performance. It may also give the bike a power band that makes it feel faster than the previous model. But VTEC is old technology that Honda have pilfered from their car range, and there's still only 107 horsepower in there. The motor may only have 107 horsepower, but it's plenty fast enough on the road. The chassis makes this the sharpest VFR yet, and the same is true of the brakes, which bite beautifully when asked. It's easily all day comfortable, one or two up. There's a clock naturally, the mirrors are excellent, the headlight turns night into day, and there's even a centre stand. Short of the fact that this motorcycle doesn't actually ride itself, it is still one of the best bikes ever made, and it's probably the winner here. There you go, I said it, again. Styling, seven out of 10, best looking VFR ever. Performance, eight out of 10, doesn't excel anywhere, but is good everywhere. Practicality, nine out of 10. It's well made, it's built to last, and as well as that, it'll handle just about anything you want to do. Value, eight out of 10. Just a shade under eight grand, it's not a cheap motorcycle, but you do get a lot of bike for your money. 